Hey everyone, it's Megan and today I'm going to share with you my current skincare routine and I haven't done a skincare routine video in about a year so I thought that I would update you guys on what I'm doing now. Most of it is the same but some of it is new stuff. So um, starting with what I do in the daytime, usually I take a shower in the morning but um, sometimes I don't but anyways when I take my shower in the morning I have been using this clean and clear morning burst skin brightening facial cleanser and this is just one that my sister had and it was like half used or so and so I've just been using this and it's really nice um, it has the little exfoliating particles but it's mostly just a like gel sort of cleanser and I don't know it's nice but nothing I would really say go out and get it's just the cleanser that I've been using currently um, just because we had one and then um, that's all I do in the shower or or in the morning when I wash my face and then before I get ready and do my makeup I use my um, Neutrogena oil-free um, acne stress control triple action toner and I whole have a whole video about this um, and I just have it in this Sephora pump you can put a cotton pad on the top and just press down and it gets the product out it's really easy brainless basically and so I just um, use that a couple of pumps and just wipe it all over my face so that gets off any um, residue that if they're if the cleanser didn't get it off it'll get it off and it just makes me feel really refreshed and it's just a really nice thing to do in the morning to wake me up and then if I have any makeup like any mascara smudges or anything like that I'll use my Rimmel gentle eye makeup remover this is the best eye makeup remover that doesn't leave a residue so that's why I use it in the morning this isn't what I use to remove my makeup at night but this is definitely the best if you want something to remove your makeup and not leave any residue for um, face moisturizer in the morning I've been using this deluxe sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion with SPF 30 and this is just one of the small lotions that I got in the Sephora Sun Safety Kit and so it has a pump and it's okay it's a like thick white um, lotion and the thing is that it doesn't really like you really have to work to blend it in if you can tell it like doesn't really blend in too easily and it sort of has a sunscreeny smell so um, I don't think this is the best moisturizer ever I was using the Olay Fresh Effects satin finish lotion which is awesome for the summertime if you want to have a more satin to matte finish on your skin and it doesn't really give any sort of sheen or anything so um, this is just the one I'm using I just thought I would try it out it's not my favorite but it's not horrible or anything but I wouldn't really repurchase that it's just what I'm using right now and then for sunblock you guys know I love my Neutrogena ultra sheer liquid sunscreen in SPF 70 broad spectrum this is just amazing it's a really thin consistency um, sunscreen it has a little sort of dropper thing to get it out and it's just the best sunscreen to put on under your makeup or if you don't wear makeup it's really nice because it's very natural it doesn't look like anything and it doesn't irritate my skin and it's just amazing so if you guys need a sun sunscreen for all year round or if you want one for the rest of the summer this is an awesome one for your face so that's all the stuff that I do in the mornings when I am getting ready and so when I am ready to take off all my makeup and ready to go to bed the first thing that I do is I take my Talica um, lash conditioning cleanser which is what I use to remove my eye makeup and I just take one pump of this and the <laughs> I dropped it and so the pump got all messed up but I take one pump of this and put it between my fingers my like index and my middle fingers on both fingers and then I rub it over my eyes and it just breaks up all of the makeup that I have on and I wear a ton of eye makeup it's what I wear the most makeup like it's the, the place on my face that I wear the most makeup and it just breaks it all down and if you don't like something that like smears your makeup around you will not like this at all but this is absolutely the best way to that I have found to remove my eye makeup so I just um, swirl it all around my eyes and then I wash it off with water and a washcloth and it seriously gets 
everything off and it leaves my lashes really nice as it says it's a lash conditioning cleanser so it doesn't leave your eyelashes brittle or anything I think that it's awesome and I just absolutely love it it is a more high high-end expensive more expensive product but it's so worth it and I really really enjoyed using it and um, so that's the first thing that I do and then I just basically take a washcloth and remove the rest of my makeup off my face because my cleanser basically gets everything off so I don't really use anything to remove my face makeup and I don't really wear that heavy of face makeup anyhow but the cleanser that I have been using is the Cebu bar soap and I just have it in this <laughs> travel soap container but it's the um, Cebu bar soap I'll leave the full name down below with a link to where you can buy it um, and I use it with my Olay Pro X which is my favorite thing ever I love this so much I use it every night I know some people think that's too harsh for their skin but for me it works perfectly and I love it so much I usually use the Dove bar soap with my Olay Pro X, but I had the Cebu one and I really, really have been liking it. So um, I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a really natural, good um, facial cleanser. And um, yeah, I just love that combination and it lathers really well and I can just really scrub all over my face and neck. So I love it. And then I, sometimes I do this also at night, my Neutrogena Triple Action Toner, and so I'll just use a cotton pad and put it, or wipe my face with it. Sometimes I don't do it day and night, sometimes I do, depending on um, my skin situation. And then the last thing that I do at night is my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I have a full review on this. It's just a oil with a dropper. It is the best moisturizer for me at night. I will never buy a cream or anything else again because this is just perfect for me and um, if you haven't tried it I would say try it out even though it is pretty expensive. I have absolutely fallen in love with, in love with it. I love it so much I can't get my words out. Um, it's just amazing. The best facial um, moisturizer for at night and it's just amazing. And then the last thing that I have is sort of like a spot treatment is the Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser Slash Mask and this is just a white cleanser and it's pretty thick if I can get some out. Um, it's a thick white cleanser or mask. I use it as a spot treatment so this thing lasts me like ages upon ages but if I have a pimple or something I put this on with a q-tip onto the spot and um, either I leave it on for a few hours or I sleep with it on and it can be drying but I think that it is absolutely the best way that I have found to deal with um, pesky spots that I have and it's a benzoyl peroxide ac acne medication it has 3.5 percent benzoyl peroxide and there's not a lot of things especially in the drugstore that have benzoyl peroxide most of it is salicylic acid and while I think salicylic acid works pretty well for me I think for spot treatment and things that are really like pimples that are really hard for me to get rid of the benzoyl peroxide is just so much better for my skin so if you've noticed that salicylic acne treatments don't really work for you, try this out because you can use it as both a cleanser and a mask, but I can only use it really as a spot treatment as a mask because, because I am like a mess today. If I put it all over my face as a mask, it really sort of burns my skin and makes my skin really red, but if I do it just on um, like pinpoint spots, it works amazingly. So I love that and that's just something that I do whenever I need it so it's not really that often but when I need a spot treatment I really appreciate having that in my collection so those are my like things that I do to keep my skin looking nice and my skin has been really really nice since I've been using all of these products in conjunction with each other so um, I hope you guys got some helpful things out of this and let me know your skincare routine leave a video response or a comment below and I hope you all are having an awesome week and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye!